On the 26th of August 2022, a seismic shift occurred in Newcastle's football history. Alexander Isak, a striker with immense talent, became the club's most expensive signing ever, commanding a staggering £59 million. But who is this young prodigy, destined for greatness since the tender age of 16? Let's take a journey back to where it all began. Alexander's story starts with his parents, who bravely left their war-torn homeland of Eritrea, a country just around the Horn of Africa, bordered by Sudan in the west, Ethiopia in the south, and Djibouti in the southeast, and emigrated to the suburbs of Sweden's capital, in Solna. Despite growing up in Solna municipality as part of a migrant family, Alexander Isak's access to early education was not hindered due to his parents' ability to afford it. He had the same opportunities for early education as any other child of migrant origin in Sweden. However, Isak witnessed that many migrant students faced challenges progressing through school and had high dropout rates. This observation led him to channel all his energies into soccer, a sport he developed a deep passion for. Isak's decision to focus on soccer proved to be a wise one as he began to excel in the sport. He was invited for trials with his municipality's local team, AIK Fotball, which marked the beginning of his journey in organized football. Alexander's passion for soccer saw him at the age of six getting passing trials and getting enrolled at the local side AIK Football. As the years went by, Isak's talent shone through. Year after year, he proved his worth, capturing the attention of all who saw him play. The belief that he would one day make football his profession was palpable. And so at the age of 16, after a decade with AIK football, Isak made his professional debut in the Swedish Cup. In a mere 15 minutes on the pitch, he scored a goal, contributing to a resounding 6-0 victory. From that moment on, it was clear that AIK football had discovered a germ in their midst. Isak's journey continued in the league, with him being included in the starting lineup for the next match. And once again, he proved his worth by scoring the second goal securing not only three points, but also etching his name in history. At just 16 years and 199 days old, Isak became AIK football's youngest ever goal scorer. As Isak's stature grew, standing tall at six foot four, people started drawing comparisons to the legendary Zlatan Ibrahimović. His nickname, the Giraffe, was born, thanks to his long neck and slim build. And just like Zlatan, Isak received a call-up to the Swedish national team in January 2017. Making his debut against the Ivory Coast, he quickly established himself as a force to be reckoned with. Four days later, he started against Slovakia and scored his first international goal within 19 minutes, becoming the youngest goal scorer in the history of the Swedish national team. With this remarkable performance, Isak's star was on the rise, catching the attention of Europe's biggest clubs. Liverpool and Real Madrid were among those vying for his signature. However, it was Borussia Dortmund who ultimately secured the 17-year-old services with a 10 million euros deal and a five-year contract that would see him don the yellow and black until 2022. Dortmund's sporting director, Michael Zork, expressed his delight at securing the signing of Alexander Isak, acknowledging the striker's immense talent and the interest he garnered from top clubs across Europe. Isak's decision to choose Borussia Dortmund was seen as a significant coup for the club. Both the management and the player himself recognized the immense potential this transfer held. The magnitude of this deal became evident as Isak became the highest paid transfer for an Allsvenskan player, turning down an offer to play at the prestigious Bernabeu. However, despite the hype surrounding Isak's arrival and the anticipation of him becoming Dortmund's next great number nine, he was not given a single start in the Bundesliga that season. His playing time was limited to a mere four minutes in the quarterfinals against Sportfreunde Lotte. One might question whether Isak had made the wrong decision or if he was simply too young to make an impact. However, it may not be as straightforward as that. 
Isak's lack of opportunities cannot be attributed to his decision or age alone. In the following season, Isak was given just one start and made four appearances as a substitute, totaling only 116 minutes in the Bundesliga. Clearly, this was not enough time for him to showcase his goal-scoring abilities. Despite the limited chances in the first team, Isak did manage to make an impact in other competitions. In the DFB Pokal against FC Magdeburg, Isak scored a goal and provided an assist. However, the head coach at the time, Lucien Favre, sent him to play for Dortmund's second team in the first half of the 2018-2019 season. Playing for the reserve side, Isak once again demonstrated his abilities when given the opportunity. He scored a remarkable hat-trick in one game and added two more goals, along with several assists, in a total of 11 appearances. However, despite his promising performances, Dortmund decided to send Isak on loan to Willem II, a team in the Eredivisie in the Netherlands. Michael Zork explained the reasoning behind this loan move, stating that Dortmund wanted to provide Isak, whom they believed to be a great talent, with an opportunity to gain valuable match experience at a high level. Despite a rocky start, Isak's true potential began to shine through. He embarked on a remarkable scoring streak, finding the back of the net in seven consecutive games. This impressive run included two braces and a hat trick, consisting of three penalties, making him the first player in the Eredivisie to achieve such a feat in just 16 games. Isak's goal tally reached 13, capturing the attention of Premier League giants once again, with Chelsea expressing interest. However, Isak chose to turn down the big shots, and instead engaged in talks with Real Sociedad, who eventually brought the young striker to La Liga for 10 million euros. In his first season in La Liga, Isak performed above average, scoring nine goals in 37 league games and being benched only once throughout the entire season. However, it was in the Copa del Rey where Isak truly made his mark. He almost single-handedly led his team to victory, scoring seven goals and providing two assists in the competition. Notably, two of those goals and an assist came against Real Madrid in the quarterfinals, and he ultimately helped Real Sociedad defeat Athletic Bilbao in the final clinching both the trophy and the title of top scorer in the tournament. Isak's momentum carried into the 2021 season, though he had a slow start, scoring only three times in the first 13 games. However, as the new year arrived, he made a resounding statement. Isak followed through on his New Year's resolutions, netting goals in six consecutive games and becoming the youngest player in the 21st century to score in five consecutive La Liga matches. He capped off this incredible run with a hat trick. After this impressive display, Isak's form fluctuated, but remained noteworthy, with Real Sociedad finishing fifth in the league and the striker ending the season with 17 league goals to his name. Isak's impressive performances earned him a call-up to the Euro 2020 tournament with Sweden. Although Sweden made it out of the group stages, they were eliminated by Ukraine in the last 16. Isak made a significant contribution providing two assists in the four games he played. His performances caught the attention of European football, with England legend Gary Lineker praising his talent. It was evident that Isak's exceptional abilities would attract interest from clubs across Europe. In the following season, Isak's consistency dipped slightly, but he still managed to score a total of 10 goals in all competitions and provided three assists. In the summer of 2020, Newcastle United expressed their interest in Isak, recognizing his talent and potential. They made a record signing by acquiring his services for 59 million euros. Isak considered it a significant decision, but expressed his happiness with the move, citing Newcastle as a historical club with passionate fans. He also believed in the club's project, which played a crucial role in his decision. Newcastle manager Eddie Howe expressed his excitement about Isak's arrival acknowledging his outstanding talent and expecting him to make a significant contribution to the team. Isak started his Newcastle career on a high note, scoring two goals in his first three games. However, not everything went smoothly for Isak. He suffered an injury while on international duty and developed thigh problems, causing him to miss 13 games. Isak openly admitted feeling guilty about the situation since he was the club's record transfer at the time. He had to sit out for four months due to the injury. 
However, he returned in January and finished the season without further issues, scoring eight goals in the league, including two braces. He guided Newcastle to the Carabao Cup final, marking their first appearance in a cup final since 1998. This triumphant moment ended a 23-year-long anticipation. Additionally, he transformed the team's fate from battling relegation to achieving a remarkable qualification for the prestigious Champions League. Isak's performances gained recognition, with his name becoming known among the Premier League fan base. Former Chelsea defender Jason Cundy even speculated that his value could skyrocket from 70 million euros to 100 million euros in the next season. Isak's style of play has drawn comparisons to Arsenal icon Thierry Henry. So far in the current season, Isak has been a standout performer, making his mark in both cup and league competitions. In the Carabao Cup, he has one goal in one game which he scored and helped to knock out Manchester City. In the Premier League, he has also proven his goal-scoring prowess by netting an impressive six goals in just eight matches so far. His consistent ability to find the back of the net in the league has undoubtedly contributed to his team's success. Isak's performances on the field have solidified his status as a formidable player in both cup and league competitions. Isak still has four years left on his contract with Newcastle and is looking forward to the exciting future ahead. However, the question that remains is whether he will live up to his hefty price tag. As a 23-year-old, Isak has immense potential, and fans and pundits alike are eager to see if he can fulfill expectations.